What is your first encounter going to be like or your first date going to be like? Today we're going to discover everything about this moment together. So we have today three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. I just want to express my gratitude for you guys to be here and supporting me on this channel. Thank you so much and if you're new, make sure to join the beautiful family as we're growing to 100k together. So if you're ready, let's now begin. So group number one, let's start and see hints about your future encounter or your future date. So we have being in your presence is freeing and I see two lovebirds talking in the evening and this could be what you're searching for. You're searching for a deep connection with someone who is going to enjoy talking with you and enjoying the view, you know, just being in the moment with you and have a connection. Even to me, the antennas shows that deep bond and connection, the sense of compatibility that makes the two of you close and vibing together especially. So let's see more hints with the other cards and we have many different techniques today. So we're gonna see a lot of different signs about your first encounter and the person of course. So let's see with the tower cards, anything about this future date, future encounter. The first one with this person. Ooh, interesting. So what I see with this card is that one of you is trying to manifest your lover. One of you feels ready to finally, you know, make a move in the third dimension. But first you're trying that with practices. This could be with scripting, meditation, visualization, or prayers as well. And this is what moves mountain in the third dimension. So I do believe you might yourself be trying to manifest somebody in your life or trying to manifest one encounter with someone that you have a strong bond with. And like I said, you're going to have this deep connection and compatibility with the one. So you might want to make things work faster, even with the statue at the distance. I'm seeing this as fertility. I'll show you a close-up of these two. So fertility in that connection. And with the way you can see the arms glued together, there's this sense of communion, coming together, unity, feeling connected. So you can be attracting someone that's part of your soul's family. That's why you feel a deep soul connection with them. But of course, I see one of you at least <laughs> trying to manifest the other one. This could be a fire sign or this person can come during spring season because we have spring with the fire and one's fire energy. You get it. And with the, um, the lizards, what I see is adaptability. You guys being perfect for each other. So you adapt perfectly to your, your person in the future. And then... Ooh, Okay, I'm getting social media here because if you look at the album and the photo, I especially think of rather like a dating app because if you're on a dating app, you see there are pictures, right? And then you scroll and whatever you do, you swipe. Um, so I'm getting this rather Instagram or maybe TikTok or even maybe YouTube because you can post pictures as well. But especially Instagram or social media or dating apps, this is what I'm getting here. So perhaps you're about to be meeting someone that you've been meeting online or you can be uh, presented somebody that is actually interested about you that can make you move online. Okay, so I feel like you're manifesting without maybe a name in mind or a person in mind and then this is what makes you attract the right person because you're not controlling of it. You're like, just send me the person that is a match for me. And then suddenly this person appears and this person might appear unexpectedly or in a way that you did not expect. So perhaps a DM, maybe somebody that is about to contact you if you are on a meeting app or dating app or even just friends apps that you have or any type of platform online, this is what I'm getting. Or if you have your eyes on somebody, especially on their social media, this is totally the sign for you. And again, 
what I see is someone that's peaceful, that's ready for that relationship. And I'm saying this because this is totally the vibe for the first one. The first card was really setting the mood. You guys will just be chill together, relaxed together. And that's the same energy here. You can see that men enjoying nature, enjoying the breeze, enjoying the moment, and really enjoying to look back at those photo albums and photo memories, which I think is a symbol. You guys will love to possibly take a lot of pictures or really enjoy to talk about the memories that you had rather together or in the past. And with this, I see that the two of you feels open to talk to each other. So let's see places. We have the bar, okay. So you guys can be meeting or for the first date going to a bar or if not a bar, this could be like a cocktail club. It could be a place where you just have a drink. It could be the, the boba, <laughs> boba tea shop, you know, it could be something like this. It does not have to be like that only place, but a place where you just have a drink together. We have the subway and next drive. So if you guys meet online, that makes sense because you might be traveling or driving to maybe a place of encounter to be meeting this person. And this one could be one of them. So the bar, next drive and the subway. And perhaps when you go somewhere, you can be meeting somebody that you find attractive. And if you meet them in the subway, Make sure to get their numbers because <laughs> you can see our social media because I'm getting that. Um, whatever you feel comfortable asking, of course. But definitely I see that the move will be necessary driving um, towards the person, okay? Or maybe they will make that move. But if you feel like that's your chance, take it, okay? <laughs> so let's see with a couple cards about them okay so you're meeting a soulmate or let's say you're manifesting a soulmate in your life that makes sense this is why this relationship is going to feel chill peaceful and rejuvenating because you're going to feel connected understood you're going to feel appreciated welcomed accepted and loved this is really the vibe i was getting a relationship that's mature and you guys don't want any drama you don't want anything that's torturing you just want to find someone who is enjoyable to talk to and connect with you know someone that makes you feel safe to just be yourself and you're getting that with this soulmate so this is perfect and we have a home cooked meal so perhaps after a few dates you guys will just enjoy to you know meet each other at your own place or at their place and have a dinner together something that you cook together possibly or ordering something and just eat at home you know but I do feel like you guys love a very cozy relaxing and environment that allows the two of you to talk you know so I'm not seeing the two of you going to places that are too crowded and packed with people that just are very noisy I just feel like you guys enjoy you know a time alone in nature uh, looking at the scenery from your place having a meal together something like this very cozy and relaxing so let's see other places with this deck we have this okay well the stars again i think connects to the soulmate card because it is written in the stars for the two of you and i posted a reading about destiny i have a lot of them actually even soulmates etc so if you're guided to watch these you can get more hints about this specific soulmate i even go in details with the portrait their appearance personality so check them out but it is written in the stars for you and you're going to make the choice to really select this person because you might feel that sense of compatibility again we have the cup so the bar connects perfectly with this other card it doesn't have to be this drink of course could be something different like i said could be a tea um could be a lemonade i don't know something like this but know that you are redirected towards the one what i want to show you because i think that's connected beautifully we have the star right and look at the pentacle on the table and this reminds me of um that disney movie i watched the like wish 
this is wish um, and we have this little star which I think is so adorable and cute and perhaps this is telling you wish upon the star yourself because you will be attracting that result that wish and you might with that faith attracts someone that is in your soul family or maybe in your star family. And I love that in this Disney movie, they actually picture themselves as all connected. They are stars themselves. Like, and, and this is so, I mean, when I was watching it, I was like, this is so awakened like this i know that most people will not get the message but if you are awakened like or if you just meditate before watching this disney movie you're gonna feel like oh okay i get the i get the message this is very deep and that talks to you and talks to your soul especially but anyway you get the point you're attracting someone that is your other star your other soul or somebody that feels like home because you've been actually connected in other lifetimes and this is why you feel that deep attraction towards this person and you just want to have a fun time with them this is the judgment card by the way that's why i'm saying that you will make a choice to be with someone in your star family or soul family because you do want something that is going to feed your soul in the connection you don't want something that's just you know out of the ego or out of the eyes you want something deeper so let's see more Cobble Kites. I rarely use this deck. I created this one in my early <laughs> days on YouTube. So I thought, why not using this one back? We have Morning Kiss. Again, in the bed, I guess you guys will be, you know, feeling so connected that you will want to spend a night together. So if they visit you at their place, I feel like during this date, there could be some type of move. So a morning kiss, admiration. And I feel like this person will love to look at you a lot, even when you fall asleep or you guys will have deep talks on the pillow. Let's see a few more. You're funny. This is good. This is good to see. And I do believe during this date or during this encounter, you're going to feel this person is fun to be around. This person is someone like I just have a good conversation and good complicity with. So you're funny. Morning kiss and admiration. I'll read the other ones in a second. I just want to show you a close up. So you can see what's happening and even the looks because they can be connected to the way they look appearance wise or vibe and style. We have whispers. It's like sharing secrets with the person feels comfortable, like it feels right and I'm here if you need me. And you might feel that. You might feel like if you need to talk to somebody, if you want to go somewhere, uh, if you want to do some type of activity, they'll be on like they'll be so excited to actually go with you and do these things with you so i'm here if you need me let's see now messages what they want to say to you or what they might say to you during this first date or encounter what's something they want to reveal to you maybe what they're too shy to say to you let's see are you okay i'm telling you this person is like i'm here for you like just eat me up i'm i'm just going to make my best i mean do my best to be with you and to be present for you and they might ask you hey are you okay what's up you know they really take news like they will take news from you they will ask you how your day is going if you're doing okay and if you're not they might sense that and just want to talk to you to see what's going on and those lips is all I desire. They want to kiss you. I mean, you could see a morning kiss, a kiss here. So yes, they totally feel the attraction towards you. That's for sure. <laughs> but if you notice somebody is always asking you, how are you doing? If they ask you if you're free, totally they're, they're really invested and they are interested to spend more time with you. Or to finally meet you. So let's see next with 
the chimes. We also have some letters and words here, so they can be connected to the name of the person, perhaps a place even. So let's see what comes out. And then I'm going to be using my book of love answers. So what you can do is you can think of a question or we'll see what comes out for you with the book. Because sometimes the book is just a message shared to you or guidance. Yo, I heard voice for this. So you can love their voice a lot or their voice is going to bring you some type of comfort or they will just have a very attractive voice. I see the two of you thinking of each other with the feathers and perhaps you see feathers everywhere. As for this, I see this as protection. So feeling safe in that relationship, a relationship that is going to be colorful or they can love a love they can love a lot of colors, I mean. Um, for the stone witch, again, I think of that manifestation. So you are possibly utilizing techniques, practices, or even tools, maybe crystals, to be manifesting this person. I see someone who is successful and their success is sticking to them with the starfish. Of course, they can be a water sign and we are the yeah, water energy with the cups. So water and fire so far. And then I see love, like a deep love, a deep connection that, you know, you cannot explain, but you just want to stick to them. So let's see with the Book of Love answers, if you need to post the video, do so. And if you want to get a copy of this one, this is going to be linked down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me or even the cards I created. So check it out down below. And thank you so much, by the way, for your support with personal readings and yes or no. So group number one, look, I cannot make that up for real. So this is announcing the meeting with this person. This is so connected to what we are just, you know, channeling here for this reading. So this is perfect to see, expect it soon. So let's see with the stickers, more hints about the meeting, maybe the vibe, the person. Let's see what comes out for you. Let's pick a little bit more. Let's get some hints. Okay, so we have ooh, evasion can be totally a trip or like um like going to a weekend together and I'll show you the scenery so perhaps this will talk to you as well. We have a healthy circle and I told you this relationship is healthy and mature. Totally the vibe. Here we have a couple holding hands, totally what I can see in the future. You're so sweet. So compliments is something you can expect. She is drinking a tea and I told you, going for a drink, the bar, bubble tea, you know, so it's totally part of the plan. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and perhaps going to the beach together. And what I see with the sunglasses is especially somebody who has their eyes on you. Like they want to spend time with you and be able to look at you. Possibly on social media first, but then physically they want to look at you. So group number two, let's see more hints about the meeting for the two of you. The meeting, the first encounter, of course, or the future date. So thank you for this beautiful evening. <laughs> Honestly, when I was picking the cards, I was like, this is so fitting. So I was so happy about it. And you can see two lovebirds, you know, connecting, vibing, and you can see that closeness physically. So you might feel so connected and so at ease with the person that you're going to want to possibly kiss each other because I'm seeing the man possibly just starting to kiss here. I'll show you a close up. But yes, I'm not sure if this is on the forehead though or if this is on the lips. Just take what resonates with you. What do you feel is happening here? This will be the future. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for this beautiful evening. And this is gonna be the feeling. When you guys hang out together, you're really grateful. You're really happy about this moment. You feel just excited as well to be meeting them again. It's like this moment is precious and beautiful and I just want you to know this is how I felt. So let's see more hints about this encounter or this date and of course about the person. We have the Hierophant, totally connected to that soul 
you know, tap of bond and connection. Even the three of cups to me is a card about celebration, feeling, connecting, vibing together, feeling like you're just meeting some type of soulmate or some, you know, friend that you always had in your life. This is going to be the feeling with this person. So compatibility is going to be strong. That sense of celebration, fun, feeling connected, feeling so attracted to the person is going to be very strong. You guys will want to be together all the time. This is really what I'm getting here because it's so entertaining, it's so fun and it, it's so torturous even to be separated. What I see is everything that you had on the list, everything that you wanted to manifest in a future connection or for that future encounter and future date, you are attracting. You are now claiming that in into your reality. The universe was listening to you carefully and with attention. And if you're just manifesting blindly, this is now your sign to have a clear list and having these standards and values clearly in your head or write them down and so then you can manifest this beautiful person which I think is a person in your soul family. The Hierophant is a spiritual card telling you you might have a spiritual bond or connection or this person will feel good to your soul. Okay, and this is going to be the feeling when you feel at home, when you feel at ease, when you feel like you're growing into your best version with somebody and you feel calm and peaceful, you feel accepted, you feel like you fit in finally. Totally the person that is meant for you, okay? And we have number five, number three for these two. So number five announces creation. So you're creating creating, manifesting this new encounter, this new person in your life. This is why be selective, be precise, because you can be attracting anything, anything you decide to be attracting. I'm not saying define a person, I'm saying define qualities, traits, things you want to get, things you want to experience with a person. How do you want to feel even with that person in your life? And I see celebration here, I see fun, I see you feeling comfortable, you feeling liberated even when you're around the person. So talk about these things and start to manifest these things. So perhaps after this reading, take a piece of paper and write down all the things you want to see and feel and experience with your person. Traits, qualities, physical traits, even if that's important. And then wait and see, because that's going to manifest quickly. And I see here a date, actually, you two exploring together. So with the queen, the queen is someone who is actually a strong leader. She is an inspiration. And to me, this symbolizes that in this relationship and that bond and connection you create with this one is going to allow the two of you to grow into two powerful beings. What I'm getting is power couple vibes here. Two people wanting to grow in this garden of life, accompanying each other on this adventure, this journey of love, and wanting to find a deep connection with a partner that can understand them and support their own growth. So this is what you are attracting with this beautiful and happy connection, because You'll feel so connected that you want to stick around them. You want to learn from them. You want to, you know, always actually dig deeper in their stories so you can yourself be inspired by what they did, what they experienced and what they learned from anything in their life. So I see growth. I see compatibility. I see fun. I see you attracting someone that's wise, mature, that's healing as well. That means their aura, their presence, their words, the way they treat you is very healing. It feels good. So let's see places for you guys. So where you guys can go on a date together, maybe meeting points. So we have the concert and we have a show, if not a concert. So I think of expositions, concert, festivals, any type of activities like that. We have a photo shoot, again, two artistic places or activities. So perhaps if not places, they can be good at taking pictures or recording videos, creating content. They can be good at music or they have this appreciation for music. 
could be instrument, their voice, singing, performing, you know, but something like that for sure. We have the beach, so you guys can go to these type of places together. Or they can do these type of things with you if they have some appreciation and talents and skills connected to music or any type of art really. So the beach, the concert, show or a photo shoot. Could be a studio too. Or maybe in, in you know, in the city, for example, you see somebody that takes a lot of pictures or takes TikTok videos, I don't know, something like this. And you can be attracted by the way they view things and the way they create these videos or these photos. Let's see a couple cards to get more hints about this future encounter and future date. Or just the future together. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Right. Um, mm. that's quite spicy <laughs> so we have role play and we have the hotel room and perhaps this is what you want you want something that's i mean a relationship that's going to be exciting that's going to make you feel the flame the fire the passion the attraction like i cannot resist this person anymore i just want them i just want to be around them i want to spend time with them and i want to have this time of intimacy with them it does not have to be intimacy, like intimate and, you know, it can just be you two being in a cocoony environment that allows the two of you to talk about things that you never talked about with anybody else before. See, so that's the coziness I'm getting. Coziness and that comfortable type of connection or place that allows the two of you to feel safe, actually, together. So we have the hotel room and role play <laughs> so it could be things they love for the spicy time of course or if you meet them while traveling this might make total sense but this could be something they love let's see more places for you guys Ooh, okay i'll pick one up which fell on the floor all right so i feel like you've been meeting them in tour readings a lot because they are being predicted, they are being presented in these readings so you can then recognize them when they are appearing in your life, all right? So any things you've been noticing, repetitive places or even names, symbols, energies, cards, it's all really talking to you directly, telling you this is really what's coming, get prepared. So these readings are guiding you towards this person possibly even a place that's calling you or showing up a lot even maybe a country that you want to visit because we talked about traveling with the auto room so if you feel that intuitive guidance is showing you the way then listen carefully because that's the way to manifest faster this meeting and encounter we have the nap and we have the empress so high priestess is a very intuitive card what do you feel like with your intuition, what do you feel is something that, or some relationship that's right for you? What do you feel is actually going to fulfill you in a relationship? All this is what you are manifesting. And then I see someone of power. We have the crown. Again, the third eye was open here. The eyes, though, are closed. So you will be choosing somebody from the soul. And that's possibly why the Hierophant was showing up. Your soul is going to pick the right one for you, not the eyes. And I'm sure if you've been attracted towards somebody because they look beautiful and only because they look beautiful, it's telling you, no, this is not your person, this is not your body, so let them go. Because you are now attracting someone who is solely connected to you that you've been meeting in dreams. We have the moon, the moon, and the moons appearing. So totally assigned to me that this person is the person of your dreams. So rather like that's my dream person or someone I've been meeting over and over again. You've been walking in those dreams together. And I'm sure this person is presenting themselves in those readings to make you aware I am about to come. I'm stepping forward and we will be reunited. And that's why when you do fall asleep and when you rest, this is when you are receiving all these hints. 
but perhaps during this date you guys will have a fun time and possibly just have a nap together, I don't know. Or cuddling in bed could be something that you love to be doing. I'm not saying this as the first date unless you're very comfortable with that, but I'm saying that for the next date you guys will love to be cozy together. Okay, so let's continue and see couple kites. So more hints about oh by the way i forgot to talk about this but perhaps their working place could be where you guys can be meeting and here we have like a river or maybe the beach i'm not too sure i feel like this is a river so any natural place garden parks um rivers watery places or their job area could be <laughs> could be okay so let's see next I mean, here you can see the river and the beach, so you have options. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So one more, one more card. Jeez, this deck is way too big for my little hands. Let's pick one more. Perfect. All right, so. Shall we? <laughs> Shall we what? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm getting, I'm getting the sense of you guys possibly having that, you know, spicy time. Shall we or shall we kiss? Shall we? Mm -hmm. You know, you get the point, but there is some, <laughs> I don't know, some demand that will lead towards some type of action here. This way, I'm telling you, you guys can be guided to maybe somebody or to a place, um, traveling maybe, I don't know, but there is some direction. This way, this person, this thing, and that will allow you to manifest this person faster. Look, we had the photograph and, or oh, the photograph, it's so dark suddenly, um, and we have happy memories. And this is possibly what you love to do, like when you guys will hang out together, you will have to take possibly videos, um, pictures, or really capture that moment to then frame these memories, you see? Or maybe post about these memories. Let's see now messages, what they want to say to you, reveal to you, maybe what they're too shy to say, or what they will say during these dates. Look at this! My soul always knew it was you. This is going to be clear and many people might be like, yes, <laughs> yes, finally, because, sorry, uh, finally, because I see that you have been predicted this person. This person is all that you've been wishing to manifest. This person is in your soul family. You have a strong spiritual bond with them. It's something that connects to possibly past life connections, soul, destiny, fate, manifesting. And this is why you feel like your soul has been showing you the way or showing you the person. And this is going to be clearer and clearer for you, even with the way that you'll be picking somebody. So my soul always knew it was you. And again, we have a passionate kiss in the car. Could be another place, you know. So let me drop you home. They could be inviting you after this date or this encounter to actually drive you to your place. And possibly they will just be very passionate with the way they say goodbye to you with a kiss or whatever happens. It's up to you guys. But definitely I see somebody who feels that deep attraction towards you. And it's quite difficult for them to resist you. I can get that. So let's see now with the chimes, letters and words, more hints about your person. So of course you can see, for example, a place showing up. Maybe a word, a name showing up as well, initials, gen. I heard Gen Z, but it could be generation, like the same generation, or you guys could have been meeting as a teenager. Teenager. This person could be good at any type of math, or they could be studying about... I mean, studying or working in these type of areas with a lot of numbers. So I think of business, mathematics... What else? What else? What else? I see 10. So 10 could be a number that you see a lot. 111, 222. We have color. So you can love this person's color, like their aura, 
their personality, this one is blank. And with the rose, I see someone who could be very good at seducing you, or they are a big romantic. And perhaps during this date, during a first date, they might come with some gift, rather with flowers or anything specific and special that will be connected to your taste. But I see that this person is very generous. Maybe even that is about generosity. Generous with you. So let me pick now the book of answers, the book of love answers. <laughs> so here we can see more hints. You can pause the video if you want and think of a question or let's just read the energy and see what's going on between the two of you. So group number two, what's the guidance? And by the way, if you guys want to get a reading with me, a yes or no, everything is linked down below. That is a no. So if you've been thinking or targeting somebody, or maybe just a question you asked is a no. If you did not ask anything, I see that possibly the person that you've been targeting, especially if you felt like you did not have that soul bond, is not the one. If they haven't been generous, if they haven't been showing much interest, this is just telling you that's a no-no. This person is not the one. All right. So this could be some redirection here. Let's see with the stickers. Any type of hints about this one, this person. Yeah, I see that the one is going to be driven. It's going to be actually craving for you so much that they cannot wait to be with you. They cannot wait to spend time with you. So if you're just talking to someone who is distant, responds late, who is not really much invested, it's a no. It's a no-no. Okay? So let's see, we have someone who could be quite crafty and... Sorry, my... My cards are falling! Okay, so going back to it. Somebody who is crafty and craft. Artistic. Like I said, they make a jump, they make a move. They are leading that relationship. You're so sweet. Could be something they tell you a lot. They could be sad to be in separation or when you guys are not talking or just have to go to work you can be sad to just be you know without any news from them i see someone with stable and it wants to wants a stable relationship as well they could be part of your circle or some somebody that you already have a connection with but i'm telling you the one who is not invested it's a no Okay, so take what resonates with you. With the Olive, the Olive branch, I see somebody who is going to be peaceful and wanting a deep, peaceful, mature relationship. And you can see two lovebirds holding hands, possibly the subway, the bus, you know, just going somewhere to then spend time with you. So there could be some type of meeting or traveling, let's say, to then be together physically. Group number three, let's see hints about this first encounter or this first date. It feels safe to open my heart to you is the message for this one. And you can see two lovebirds in deep passion. And what I see as well is this relationship is going to feel like it. You're going to really perceive a future with them. You're going to feel that deep, transcending, passionate love feeding you and energizing you. And what I see with the roses and the petals everywhere, you can be attracting a romantic or someone who is very passionate with their love. We have curtains appearing in the background and this can talk about you being revealed this person. So if you have no clue who that person is, possibly this reading is going to pinpoint someone or a type of person. So then when this person enters your life, you're going to know that's the one. So a romantic, we can see passion, feeling comfortable, wanting to commit to each other, wanting to grow together, and someone who is going to reveal themselves to you. Sorry, what's happening? So let's see with the tarot cards, anything about this future encounter, future date, or the person, anything we need to know, group number three. So take the ones faced up. Okay. What I see for you is you are transitioning. I feel like you're healing from possibly the past or any type of rejection or redirection that you've been um, presented. 
So possibly now or in the past. And now that you're leaving behind the past, anything that was dark, you're leaning towards something that's a bit more positive. And you can see that's a healthy relationship here. So if you've been feeling stressed, if you've been feeling like I will never find my person, I will never be able to attract someone that I appreciate, why am I always presented these people? Like you have to stop thinking this way because that pattern is what attracts these results. If you've been always attracting the same clowns, if you've been attracting people that will never commit to you or always play with you or just lose interest even with the way you guys will talk in exchange, if they lose interest, they're not your people. But also you can be manifesting these results. So ask yourself, how do I view myself? Do I think I am entertaining? I am fun? I am someone that's very attractive, that people want to have in their life? Like I am, like, do you see yourself as just another product in the, you know, in the shop? Or do you see yourself as this one exclusive, expensive, one-of-a-kind type of product in the halle of a shop? Like this is the, the last product available and people just want and come here for that product. Like do you see yourself like this or do you see yourself as just I'm one of these options and there are many like me? See, like it's all about that. Like the way you view yourself is the way people will view you too. Because you present yourself this way with that filter on and you tend then to be disappointed because you did not even show that you are a magical person and that you are one of a kind, you're unique and people should be in line just to actually be with you or access you. And when you can see yourself as precious, this is when people will want to be in your company. They will want to be providing and nurturing because to me, they will show up as the empress in your life. And you're like this little boy that wants to be nurtured, that wants to be seen, that wants to be taken care of. And you'll be. But first of all, you have to recognize, how do I present myself? Am I allowing people to provide to me, to love me, to nurture me, to spoil me, to be taken care of me? Or am I highly independent? and always rejecting help, always telling people, I'm good alone. <laughs> Guess what? If you tell the universe, first of all, I'm good alone, you attract more of it, right? Everything that is in your life, your reality, is part of your inner program, is part of your belief system and the thoughts that you think every single day. The, the words you even speak to people around you or to yourself, this is what you attract. So how do you present yourself? Like I said, how do you view yourself? How do you talk about your love life or relationship? Um, do you give space even for the universe to bring that person in? Like for example, yesterday I was watching a very beautiful podcast and she was talking about people want to manifest a future lover, yet they sleep in the middle of the bed or they don't have any room in their closet they don't really have space in their schedule to have this person. And this resonated with me because I uh, sleep in the middle of my bed <laughs> and I have this closet that is full of clothes and I completely fill that one in. And she talked about the fact that the universe does not like any vacuum, meaning they, the universe doesn't like empty spaces. The universe will always want to fill things in. So if, for example, you sleep in one part of the bed and you let that space open for another person, if you do have a bed with two places, you get the point, then you tell the universe, I am open, I have that empty space for that person. Then if you have that part in your closet that's empty and you picture that as like, this is the space where I see the clothes of my future boyfriend or future partner or future spouse, you know, you, you start to be attracting that because that's when you present these opportunities for the universe to co-create with you. It's like, this is the empty space, fill that in. I allow yourself to have this empty palette so you can create. This is when you do attract these things. So what I see is that there's a new chapter. You are co-creating with the universe and you're ready for this one. You're ready to take that risk now to open yourself up to positivity and to open yourself up to somebody who is ready to take care about you. 
and provide to you and show us someone who is able to spoil you and provide to you and love you. And you can see, actually, she reminds me of that kid because both of them are like, oh, okay, what should I do? And then you find someone who is going to heal you and be there for you. Perhaps you've been somebody who is highly independent and or you've been like, you know, get this, uh, I'll work on that thing, which is good because that means you can tear take care of you and take care of people and this is what people like about you actually but now you will allow people to be offering you or gifting you or healing you even being there for you because there is a part of you who wants to receive there is a part of you who is ready to you know be taken care of and with that, I see that now you don't want to get everything in order on your own. You want to allow people to have a role to play in your life. And when you are open for that, this is when people will start to gravitate around you and be presented. So for the first meeting, I see that you are exploring options. You're possibly guided towards somebody. You feel they want to be the nurturer, they want to be the chaser, they want to lead, they want to provide and you feel comfortable with that. Even if you've been highly independent, there is a part of you who wants to finally no longer be in survival mode, always producing, always giving, always being in charge. You want someone who can be providing to you. And as someone who is highly independent myself, I cannot wait to find someone who can be providing back to me. I cannot wait to find someone who is ready to give, who is ready to take care of me. Because I'm tired of being in my masculine all the time. I just want to be in my feminine with someone who can be in their healthy and potent masculine energy. So I can finally chill and relax and feel even liberated from all the pressure I have that's very masculine, like do the work, pay the bills, you know, all that, you know, like doing, 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 doing. I just want to be in my being, which is very feminine. And you might want to find someone who is allowing yourself to feel this way too. So you can be meeting at the park. You can be meeting at work. You can be meeting maybe in your, in your neighborhood because I'm getting maybe somebody was around you. And because we have the garden, of course, Aries season could be the season. We have Aries sign, fire or spring season. We have air energy, which could be also related to winter. But there is a part of me that tells me you're about to encounter this person when you feel ready. When you allow yourself to, like I said, have these empty spaces, even in your schedule. And perhaps even practice. Create these um, free times. And take yourself out on a date. Practice as if you are with this person in these places. And possibly when going there, you can be meeting these people there too. So we have the shopping mall for other places. Makes sense. You know, maybe go to the shopping mall. <laughs> spoil yourself. Treat yourself. We have Starbucks. Starbucks, yes. And after work. Interesting. And I told you, perhaps at work or maybe after work can totally be moments when you guys encounter each other and if you meet somebody repeatedly after work or after school this can totally be the person so shopping mall starbucks maybe when you treat yourself really and after work or you can actually plan to go on a date after you know after going to school after your work possibly go to a mall or like a place you wanted to visit for a long time to shop for maybe something that you need or maybe shop for some drink food <laughs> let's see couple kites I told you, you're attracting someone who is romantic. So that, and we talked about the park. I mean, you could see that one appearing on this guide. So this, again, I think is so connected, which is beautiful. So a walk in the park. And she's doing that on her own. And then she's no longer alone. Can you see that? I feel this is the universe telling you, this is what you're manifesting. Like when you practice on your own, this is when you create that, you know, that pattern and then you attract this reality with somebody new player boom attracted <laughs> so yes a walk in the bike with someone who is romantic 
And this could be you attracting a romantic date, okay, with somebody specific. Let's continue and see more places, perhaps more future date or the energy, what's going on. So for this one, we have the High Priestess. I love this because this is going to be an intuitive feeling. When you meet somebody and you feel, oh, we're vibing, we're vibing, we're, we're really compatible or things are just easy when I talk to them this is going to show you that. So your intuition is going to be quite on point and show you that's someone I picture a future with. And the fact that she is sewing, I think it is, sewing that picture, it's to me like you have a clear picture of what you want and what you're attracting and what you're creating as a future relationship. And this is all that you're attracting. Even the wave itself in the background is talking about that manifestation, things being in movement. And so you're creating that movement because you are yourself taking that step forward, welcoming this person while practicing with yourself. And and maybe the wave can talk about, for example, meeting at the beach, um, going to, I don't know, the ocean, the sea. We have a lake here showing up. So they can be significant you might be me yes i mean we talked about leaving the past behind leading towards happiness and positivity if not a a relationship could just be a mindset if you've been stressed with work with making money or anything like this you could be now seeing things from a different perspective and so you're not repeating that pattern you're not repeating this karma that you're creating you're no longer feeding that you despair or this emptiness or this, uh, I don't know, dissatisfaction or, you know, feeling lonely or feeling sad. You don't feed it anymore. And when you create balance, this is when actually you create stability. Even the pillars talk about that. So you're manifesting a pillar in your life. And this will feel like finally justice is made. I am finally attracting someone I can see a future with. Someone who will want to have a committed relationship with me. Someone who's not taking advantage of me because I can be finally nurtured back. And you will notice that this person has positive intentions. They will want something that's pure. They want actually something that's balanced. That's why the scale is showing up. Of course, it could be a Libra. We have again air sign, so air, fire sign, Aries, Libra, so far. So let's continue with the other decks. So let's get more hints. Oh, and again, we have the curtains, right? We started with these. So I guess you presented somebody or will be presenting, presented uh, somebody that will be the one for you. Way too many, way too many cards. So sorry, I have to shuffle again. This one is so big. It's actually difficult to shuffle. Okay, let's see these. Let's see these cards. I truly love you. Look at this. I told you, you're attracting someone who is romantic, who is nurturing, who is very loving. Coffee breaks. Maybe this is when you guys meet. If you work together and have coffee breaks with somebody that you find attractive, you're going to be <laughs> possibly jumping around or just falling down your chair or your bed. I don't know where you're watching this. And je le veux. So that means in French, I do. You know, when you are like when you are at the ceremony. <laughs> so I do. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. So yes, I see that there is a future totally with this person. This person can actually be your future spouse. If you want to, of course, just take what resonates with you and your desires and they truly love you. And I'm sure when you have breaks with your job, like after work or even perhaps at lunch breaks, um, you guys will just want to meet each other and, and spend that time together. All right, so let's see messages. What they want to say to you, reveal to you. <laughs> this, this again, I think is connected to like coffee breaks, having a treat break. And we could see that with the, like the, even way, the way, oh, even the way he's drinking coffee, the Starbucks. Here we have a little cake. 
and let me get a taste. I don't think that's the taste of the cake, but you get the point. And he laughed, but I'm here for you. I'm telling you, a lot of people are closing chapters. A lot of people are just ready for the new, letting go of a crush, letting go of an illusion, letting go of that past and or that ex. And you're like, finally, I'm open. I'm open for somebody. And with that healing, he left, but I'm here for you. And I actually, this person feels grateful that this person left because finally now they have an option to be with you. I mean, they have the, this opportunity to be with you and they can finally get a taste of you. And I'm sure you might feel open to be with somebody new because, I mean, first of all, I feel like you're doing the healing and you're really living this dark place to a happier place. And with this transition, this new chapter is allowing you to actually manifest someone who wants to take care of you and will understand, okay, you've been going through these things. I'm going to be gentle with you and you're going to be okay. I'm gonna make sure that you feel your very best with me. And I, I feel like it, this is because you guys will talk about the past and how you felt and all these things. And with that background story, they will be very understanding and making sure that you feel safe and comfortable around them. Let's see with the charms, letters and words, more hints about the one. So we can see perhaps a place, a name appearing, a word. We have sing two times. Maybe the karaoke place, <laughs> going to these places together. I thought about a bar. So maybe going to a bar together. Ban. I heard bienvenue in French with, maybe this person is French because I could see je le veux, so, you know, I do. Um, bienvenue is like welcome. So <laughs> I don't know, welcome in my life. Um, I'm ready for you. It's really that vibe. We have a van going for a trip, perhaps. I see that you're attracting someone who mirrors you a lot. Or maybe your karma, your past is going to be quite similar. I'm hearing Evan as well. Could be a name. Evan. So let's see. We have two pins with two hearts. And the blue color to me is about a deep conversation, deep um, exchanges with somebody. As for this one, I see that your hearts are going to be beating fast. Or like when you meet this person, you're going to feel that's the one I love. Or love feelings will just be developing so fast with this person. Of course, van could be their names, for example. Um, I think especially of any... Vietnamese names, anything like this. Maybe, oh, this reminds me of a GPS. You know, navigating, traveling. So like I said, you're going to mirror a lot about each other. There is indeed love. You can see that with the heart. With the strawberry, it could be something they like. For example, a drink or um, maybe getting strawberries, a cake with strawberries, something like that. Or maybe they have an allergy with that. Something will connect with this. And we have good. Someone who is good, perhaps a good singer as well. This, this is why I was telling you possibly going to a karaoke place if you feel comfortable to sing, of course. Oh, banana, if not strawberry, perhaps like a smoothie with strawberries and bananas are possibly what they per the person likes a lot. Um, let's see if we can see anything else. Oh, jazz. I don't know. I mean, the, it, that's an end, but I can of see that. Mm, that's pretty much it, what I can see here. So, oh, I forgot to talk about the broom. But the broom to me is really that symbol of cleanse and we could see leaving the past behind the, the past behind um cleansing you know all these heavy emotions leaving the past where it is and moving towards a cleaner clearer mind and place or emotional place so with the book of love answers you can think of a question or you can just let yourself be guided let's see the message for group number three and if you guys want a yes or no or a reading with me everything is going to be linked down below so check it out let's see group number three 
Ooh, perfect timing. So you guys will be meeting at a perfect time in your life. And I think it's reassuring for you because if you've been healing a lot these days, you will want to actually wait for the perfect time. Or now is the perfect time to be meeting each other. So I see with some stickers, any type of hints about the first encounter, the first date, or the person. I put a spell on you. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel like some people are like, oh, I'm just waiting for this person. I just want this person now. You possibly target somebody. Or if not you, somebody has their eyes on you. But this is a secret. You know, with sunglasses, you cannot see where they look at. So you might not be aware that they actually look at you or they just feel that attraction with you. You go, girl. So somebody who is quite supportive or you go, guy. I put a spell on you, like I said, I can and I will, that's the spirit, and good things take time, perfect timing, remember, so this is again very connected, so that's the rating guys, I hope you like it, make sure to claim this energy down below in the comments, subscribe if you're new, oh wait a second, I forgot, I forgot to talk about this one in the bus, so you can be meeting on the bus or you can be meeting on a phone, you can see that person possibly texting or sending a DM, watching his stories, so take a look around because I feel like yes, one of you is just really looking at this person like, these are sunglasses, <laughs> these are sunglasses, like I'm looking at you, I focus on you, so yes, you get the point, so check my ratings appearing on the screen, take good care of you and I will see you guys next time, bye-bye.